Okay, let's talk about uh, these. We, you can't see them yet. You might be able to see them soon. They're plastic bags. We've got them all around the studio, but nothing on the box at the moment. That's because shoppers in Northern Ireland will be made to pay five pence for every carrier bag they use to take food and products home from supermarkets. Now, the measure has already been introduced in Wales, where people have had to well, pay for bags there since, what, 2011. And it seems to be catching on across Europe, with the EU Commission reported to be preparing to legislate on the idea in the next few months. So is this a legitimate way to cut down on plastic waste or just another tax on shoppers at a time when, of course, <laughs> those shoppers are saying enough is enough. They're already feeling the pinch. Does it risk making hard-pressed high street less desirable? Well, let's get more. Jessica Schenkelman is senior reporter of Business Green. Now we've got some plastic bags in the shot. Very nice. Great to have you um, with us, Jessica. Let me start on that that whole tax thing just very briefly. Uh, the, Northern Irish, uh, the, uh, the Northern Irish government will take this money and then I think they'll pass it on to an environmental pot, if you will, or group. But That's some right. will say, hang on, look, this is just another tax at a current time when we can't even afford what's out there at the moment. Yeah, OK, it, it is a tax, but you might say it's a tax on forgetfulness because really it's the most easy tax to avoid. All you do is remember to take a reusable bag with you and you don't have to pay it. Yeah, no, that's a very valid point indeed. But it also, you know, uh, this is kind of Northern Ireland catching up with several other European countries, right? We know the likes of Norway, I believe, Denmark, Germany, even Italy has banned plastic bags, hasn't it? Italy is the only place to have actually banned plastic bags. It's run into a bit of trouble because Austria has questioned the legality of whether you can actually ban a plastic bag because... Uh, Some would say, hang on, why is Austria kicking up a stink about that? Well, presumably they have a lot of mm. people making plastic bags <laughs> yeah. in the country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. But, I mean, is this, is this a, a, a wave that we're, we're starting to see? Because we know corporations, certainly around the world, some big ones, you know, I think IKEA certainly banned plastic bags in the US, in the UK, Whole Foods in the United States, a, a big retailer, it's banned pa uh, plastic bags. So, in some ways, is this legislation catching up with, um, or trying to catch up with corporate, uh, corporates? Well, it's really a question of whether you have voluntary targets or legislation. If you look at England, for example, the um, government has agreed to voluntary measures, which so far the retailers are failing to meet. In 2011, in England, plastic bag usage went up. So really the pressure is on businesses to show that they can reduce plastic bag usage via voluntary targets. Otherwise, there's a risk that governments will legislate. Oh, that's interesting to note, though. So last year you were saying the usage in England, this is, uh, the usage of plastic bags actually increased. It increased. It, are there studies or are there numbers to show that if you start charging for bags, bags drop? Absolutely. In the Republic of Ireland and in Wales, um, usage dropped uh, so more than 90%. Uh, more than, sorry, 90? Yeah. 90 percent yeah. Um, immediately after the ban bit was introduced. Um, in the Republic of Ireland, they've had a ban since, two, uh, sorry, a levy since 2002. In the first five years of the scheme, they raised about 75 million euros, which then went into environmental and environmental fund. Do, do you think, just, just do you think we'll see uh, the EU? You know, we talk about the, well, we talk about them talking about making this legislation or at least debating it. Mm. I mean, do you think we'll we will see this sort of taken on board? It really remains to be seen. The European Commission, the Environment Commissioner, really wants to legis legislate, but as there's a, an economic crisis on, the um, the environmental legislation is being sidelined somewhat. So it's a question of whether the commissioner can push it through and then it would have to be approved by the parliament and the council, um, in which case all member states would have to enact some form of legislation into their own government. Mm -hmm. So they'd be given a series of options from lightweighting bags or maybe making compostable bags, a levy or even an actual outright ban. Sure. OK, well, it's all interesting stuff. Something we'll keep across. Jessica, thanks very much. Thanks. We uh, appreciate your time in the uh, studio. Jessica Schenkelman there, joining us from Business Green.